I am Mahima Chattwada from Physics FTP. We have seen what is gravitation, what are its effects and where we find gravitation. We have already learned about the introduction of gravitation, what is acceleration due to gravity. Now we will see how the value of g is calculated on the surface of the earth. That is how g is equals to 9.8 meter per second square come. As we know the value g is equals to g capital M upon r square. Capital M is a mass of the earth and the value of r is the radius of the earth. And as we put the values of capital G that is 6.67 into 10 raised to power minus 11 Newton meter square upon kg square. The mass of the earth is 6 into 10 raised to power 24 kg and the radius is 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 meter whole square. As we calculate this value, the value comes as 9.8 meter per second square. This is how we calculate the value of G. Now we will see the value of G for the moon. On the surface of the moon, what is the value of G? As we know that the acceleration due to gravity for moon will be G small g equals to capital G into mass of the moon upon radius of the moon. Putting the value of the value of mass of the moon that is capital M equals to 7.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 22 plus 22 kg radius of the moon is 1 point g equals to 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg square. As we calculate this value the g of the moon comes as 1.6 in 3 meter per second square and when we take the ratio of the g moon upon g of earth it comes as 1.63 upon 9.8 equals to 1 upon 6. This means the value of acceleration due to gravity on the moon is 1 6 of the earth that is gm is equals to 1 upon 6 ge. Now we will see the value of g on the depth of the earth and on the top of the earth means above the earth surface. The variation of g, our next topic is variation of g due to height and due to as we know uh, as we can say the value of the g changes as we go above and below the surface of the earth also varies from place to place on the surface of the earth as the radius of the earth changes uh, from equator to the pole the value varies first we see the variation of g with altitude We know that small g equals to gm upon r square. We will draw the figure and see how the value of g varies. This is our earth suppose. This is the center of the earth marked as O. And this is the radius that is represented by capital R. And if we take the point P above the surface of the earth and draw the line dotted towards the center, we will mark the height h like this. This is p. If we mark or calculate the value of small g at the point p, the point p at the height h above the surface of the earth, now the acceleration due to gravity above that or that surface is g h 
is equals to g m upon r plus h whole square. This is our first equation. This is our second equation. And as we take the ratio, that is gh upon g equals to r square upon r plus h whole square equals to r square upon r square will take common 1 plus h upon r whole square. R say r cancel. Now the gh will remain as g upon 1 plus h upon r. This is the third equation as we mark. Since the value of gh is very very less than than g. Thus above the surface of the earth acceleration due to gravity we can calculate it further or simplify the above equation. gh is equals to g 1 plus h upon r. As we have taken the denominator as a numerator we mark the power as negative that is minus 2 and if we open this this part of equation this forms a binomial form means binomial form is opened up that is g is equals to gh is equals to g multiply 1 and bi binomial form is opened as the power comes to multiplication with the second now value that is minus 2 multiplied with h upon r and the further values that is further terms will be in sequence with this means minus 4 minus 6 in this way the multiplication of h upon r terms will come but that terms has a value very very less than so we can neglect the values the uh, term containing higher powers of h upon r so the formula remains only this for the gh as h is very very less than 2r this is the final equation for the height if we we'll calculate the percentage decrease of the value of g with the height h as under as we know that g is percentage decrease of value of g with height h as under that is gh is equals to g multiplication 1 minus 2h upon r then we will simplify this form and we will get g minus g of h is equals to 2h upon r this we get and g minus gh upon g is a percentage decrease which is equals to 2h upon r we can write this as percent decrease of g with height to surface into this is a final form that is a percentage decrease now we will see the variation of g with the depth b means variation of g with Depth. Suppose this is our earth. This is the inner portion. We have go down to high D. This is a radius of earth and center O. Point Q is here. Point P is here. This distance remains R minus D. Now we we'll formulate the formula. If rho is the density of the earth, then mass of earth is marked as m is equals to 
फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब इन टू रो एज वी नो दैट मास इज इक्वल्स टू वॉल्यूम इन टू डेंसिटी एंड वील फोर्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ मास इन द फॉर्मुले ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी दैट इज फोर बाय थ्री पाई आर क्यूब रो इन टू जी अपॉन आर स्क्वेर What we formulate g equals to four by three pi r g rho. This we mark as fifth equation. G d will be g m dash upon r minus t whole square. M dash is a Mass of that portion we have shaded in our above diagram, and the radius for this portion is r minus t. We have already marked in that portion, so the m dash will be four by three. G d will be r minus t whole square. This will be formulated as four by three pi r minus t g rho. This is our sixth equation. The ratio of g d to g will remain r minus t upon r. This implies that g d remains one minus d upon Upon R. This is our seventh equation, and this is the value of G at the depth of the Earth surface. In this way, we have seen that as we go below or down the surface of the Earth, the acceleration due to gravity goes decreasing and becomes zero at the center of the Earth. That is when at center we have D equals to R. So, g equals to zero. Now we'll plot a graph. This we mark the center line where small r equals to capital R. Inside the Earth, it increases linearly inside the Earth, and Outside the Earth, it decreases exponentially. As outside, it is form it follows the inverse square law, and we have seen that g is inversely proportional to r square. So it follows one upon r square term. This is the highest value that is nine point eight meter per second square. This is g d or g h. The value of g at the point Q is the surface. Value. This is outside value. Percentage decrease due to height will be g minus g d. Percentage decrease is equals to d upon r into hundred as formulated for the percentage decreased in the height. In the next section, we will see the other factors that is due to latitude and the other factors of the gravitation.